Opening up the same bound script that we were working with earlier in the last lesson, let's add in a new item into the menu. So we'll call this one, and this is actually going to copy some content and create a new sheet. So we can just call this function copy, and the function that we want it to run, how about we call this one my fun? Because I guess this is going to be a really fun lesson. So my fun function is going to get invoked when we click copy. And what's going to happen here is we're going to copy the active sheet content. So whatever the user has selected, we're going to copy that content. And then we're going to use that content and create a brand new sheet with that content. So next, let's create another variable. And this variable will be sheet using the sheet object get active. And we want to get whatever the active sheet is. Because again, we want to make sure that we are selecting the sheet and getting the data from the active sheet. And then returning back the data, we can use that sheet object that's the active sheet. And we're getting the get active range. And then from the get active range, how about we get the values as well? So this will give us all the values into an object called data. And then this object we can use and we can output creating a brand new sheet. So let's uh, go into a sheet, and I guess we don't have any data in any of the sheets. So let's uh, create some data in the sheets. And now whenever we select it, and we need to update and run the open UI in order to add that into the user interface. So now we've got the copy, and copied it run, go under objects, logs, and we can see that this is the content that's been copied. So the same thing that we did in the earlier lesson where we created a brand new sheet, we need to create a sheet in order to drop that new content into. And the content structure is already ready. So we can have a new sheet or we could call this, this is whatever the new name of the sheet is. So we'll create a brand new sheet called test. And what if test already exists? So that's uh, where we're going to select under the end sheet using the sheet object get sheet by name and then we're testing to see if new name is going to exist and same thing that we did in the last lesson that if n sheet is not null so that means that it does exist means that we do need to delete it before we create the new sheet or uh, if you don't want to overwrite it then uh, you might want to skip the uh, doing creating the brand new sheet with this so delete sheet and using that sheet object, so that's the n sheet that we're deleting because we don't want to delete the existing one. So that's an n sheet that we need to use. And then again, using n sheet, we're going to equal that to insert new sheet. So it's creating that brand new sheet. Uh, let's assign the name to that brand new sheet. So we'll set the name for it. And the name is going to be whatever the new name is. And of course, you could always make this dynamic as well for the user. And then lastly, we've got our data. So we need to loop through the data. We can use for each for this and a function. And the data, remember the way that it's structured, it's a multidimensional array. So each, it's an array of a bunch of arrays and each array is a separate row and that's where we've got the content and the thing about it is that it is structured properly in order to append row so each one of those rows is already going to be structured properly to be added in as a new row so it looks like we're ready to try this out and hit advanced uh, we need to select some data so let's go over to here we've got some data and do a copy and it will create a brand new sheet called test and copy out all of that data that we had selected from that sheet object. And we could do the same thing where we could do copy. It will delete the existing sheet, uh, store that information into the object, and then output that within the brand new sheet that gets created. So go ahead, try this one out.